Hey everyone, just making a quick update. Um, I actually, it is um, cycle day two for me. Um, AF showed up yesterday. Um, I don't know, I, I know I made the other video that, and I just posted it. So I'm not sure, like I didn't watch it and I, it was like two days ago. So I might be going over the same stuff. Um, I, uh, I thought that I like, like I said, the lines weren't progressing. Um, there's something to that. I don't know what, um, I actually have an appointment to get my blood work done. My cycle day three blood work done tomorrow. Um, I don't know like if I'm going to ask them or if I'm just going to wait and see what comes up in the, um, blood work. Now I do, like I mentioned, I do know I mentioned in my last video that, um, causes of certain kinds of HCG in your blood. Um, I think it's called HCG B. I don't know, but it, it can be in your urine and not in your blood. Um, it can be caused by tumors, but usually they're cancerous. Well, the tumor that I have on my ovary is not cancerous. Um, last they checked, so hopefully that's not an issue. Um, it shouldn't be causing a false positive otherwise. Um, I don't know if, uh, like, you know, what it is. But anyway, the point is, is that it was only showing on first response, very, very faint, never got any darker. And it was also showing on those little um, fast step tests, um, which are supposed to be 20 MIUs. But anyway, I'm getting, getting beyond that. Um, cycle day three blood works tomorrow. I'm nervous. Um, I've been having all these hot flashes and on and off for the last few months. Um, now I, I'm trying not to be too nervous because my AMH, which is supposedly a good, you know, somewhat good indicator of ovarian reserve, was um, pretty good on the blood test they did a couple weeks ago. Um, you know, my periods have been getting shorter, my cycles have been getting shorter. Um, since I lost Emerson, um, my cycles have gone from probably 28 to 30 days to being like 25 days long. And my ovulation is day 12 and like just it's stupid slight changes, but I'm curious to see what the blood work says. Um, I don't, I don't really think it's going to say anything bad. I think probably there's an imbalance somewhere. Uh, my okay so i just had that polypectomy in dnc so i expected to have a light period this is just almost just as heavy as my other periods have been um i was hoping it would be lighter because man that um it's really heavy and um i know that's tmi and gross and whatever but there's a lot of clotting too and um so it's i can't tell yet because this is Technically, this is the worst day. Cycle day two is always the worst for me. Day one is kind of lighter and day two is really heavy. Um, so last month before I had the polypectomy, it was terrible. So I'm hoping that having that little piece of placenta removed plus the polyp maybe helped something. But as of right now, it's pretty heavy. So we'll see how it does tomorrow. Um, I'm getting the blood work done in the morning um, and then me and my husband and his grandma are going to Ikea um, because we're both off work, which is awesome. And um, I'm going to ask them, I'm going to ask that they put my blood work online as soon as they get it because I really just want to see it and I will report back here when that happens. Now, one good thing about me starting my period is that I get to start using my fertility monitor that my husband got me for Christmas and I have not had a chance to use yet. So I started, that. I set it up last night. Um, I'm not really completely 100% sure what, how to use it. To tell you the truth, it seems pretty easy and I'm surprised that it costs as much money as it did. Um, so hopefully that, you know, maybe makes a difference for me too. Um, so anyway, yeah, so I'm getting the blood work done tomorrow and um, I guess onto a new cycle and I am one cycle closer to hopefully meeting my rainbow baby 
and you know it's just a, been a roller coaster so um anyway so it feels good to be getting stuff done and um hopefully we'll get some kind of answer from the blood work or you know something so anyway i'll um i'll report back i'll make another video when i get that blood work results or before